Okay, it arrived today. I was gonna do an unboxing, but my land, this thing seems heavy. I think it's 100 pounds, but it came, it was very, very well packed. Um, all the pad drivers and brushes were in a separate box, the handle, uh, the base of the unit, and this is where I got it from. I don't know if it's fayragjanitorial.com. Uh, it is, actually I ordered it on um, eBay because I wanted to um, get the free shipping. So uh, it was like $6.99 after taxes and everything. It was close to $800. But it seems to be a really good quality machine. I'm going to put it together. And um, if anybody, you know, other carpet cleaners out there have had experience with this unit, let me know. I'll zoom in in a moment on the model number, but it came with uh, three brushes and the water tank. Yeah, I think it's gravity fed. You got a carpet brush and a tile brush and a pad driver, all included. Plus they're sending me three free um, pads because uh, cotton pads. Those were advertised on the eBay description. But yeah, very heavy, good quality. Nothing cheap about it. The driver seems to be you know, pretty good. It has those little needles. So we'll see how that works once I get everything together. And this is, I think that's the tile. One of them's for tile, one's for carpet. So, and I thought, wow, you know, those are expensive. That and the tank, those three items, pad driver, the tank, the two brushes, I mean, those can cost whew, upwards of 150 bucks just on themselves. The machine looks really good. It's nice, heavy. It's got a good rubber guard around it. Let me see if I can focus in there on the model number. And the only... <clears throat> Excuse me. The only parts that I notice, it's not cracked all the way through, but there's some marks from, I don't know, pressure points or something. No big deal, though. Rubber guard, heavy, all. Oh, it's got dual capacitors, 1.6. I think it's a 1.6 horsepower, dual capacitors, and it's a 17-inch uh, do, you know, multi-machine. It's a rotary. And I'm definitely going to need to figure out how to get those bigger wheels um, on it because I, I don't see myself being able to pick this thing up like I do the Auric. There's just no way. It's going to be pretty heavy. So hopefully this turns out to be a good decision on my part. Um, once I get it together, I'll let you guys know. I'm going to order the, some additional pads eventually here from the NCAP store, some Iron Man pads. And I'll keep you guys posted. I just wanted to share it. I'm excited to uh, have a new toy. So look forward to videos with this machine. I'll see you in a soon episode.